fortune of working with Jim Duke for, gosh, since 2003 and 2000. I started volunteering at the Garden in 2003 and 2006. I started working, but I really met him when I, he was the age I am now. I'm 61, I believe. He was about that age, and then he was like this older, wiser elder then. And then I met him again right after he put out his book, The Green Pharmacy, and uh, before the garden was built, and he told me to come to the Amazon with him, which I did in 2002. And I am honored on behalf of the Duke family to be accepting this award for him. We believe Jim has built bridges. He built bridges between the common person and the scientist, between the shaman and the uh, roots doctor and the, again, the scientist. We have people coming from garden tours to the FDA, to the USDA, to the garden. And he sadly passed um, December 10, 2017. With the help of uh, Mark and Maryland University of Integrated Health, we were able to have a wonderful memorial for him. He's an amazing man who spoke in poetry and po prose. He sang, he sang me so many songs over the year from Jin Sing to um, just his Amazon song. He sang Zyphlamen songs. I don't know if you all know that. He had a Zyphlamen song and a soga about the ayahuasca vine. This past January, I had the op um, amazing opportunity to travel with Dr. O uh, Andrea Ottenson, his rainforest companion, and his daughter Celia. My family, her colleagues from the University of Maryland, where we took his ashes and we were we placed him in his Renew Peru garden under the Fertilance at Explorama. We then traveled to the canopy um, walkway at Axe, and we spread his ashes with the help of Guillermo, who was adorned in a palm headdress. And he took his ashes, and he, and he did his ikaros and his blessings, and we spread them out over the entire rainforest. And then we took them to this enormous Seba tree, and um, it's just where I was with Jim, all these places uh, in 2002, and we spread his ashes there. And we really want to have this bridge of the of the traditional medicines to the scientific community, to the to the to the layperson, to the scientific mind for his database, which is ethnobotanical, traditional peoples, and all the data, the phytochemicals, and it's really important that. His garden, people come here and it, it lives on with his name and his memory forever. And that uh, his Renew Peru garden stays and is an inspiration to the bridge to future generations. So I'd like to. Um, thank you. Thank you, Helen. Howdy, everybody. And thanks to New Hope for acknowledging Jim. Uh, better late than never. I would have the good fortune, as many of you have, I hope. I wish everybody could have met Jim. He was the kind of person that stands out in your life. And we all meet people in our lives like Jim that just are super amazingly important in ways that we don't even realize until it's a long time after they're already gone. And you find these subtle ways in which they shaped or affected you in ways. I met Jim in 1977, 42 years ago at the Air Trade Association Symposium in Santa Cruz, California. I traveled with him 19 times to the Amazon, Africa several times, Korea, Belize, Peru, uh, Costa Rica on Amazon trips uh, to the rainforest. Jim was a country boy from Alabama who grew up in North Carolina. He was, you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. He was humble all the time. He walked barefoot in the Amazon. He just carried a small little satchel when he went down there with just a few pairs of shorts and a t-shirt or two. Not all the backpacks and all the stuff that the hippie environmental herbalist had. And, uh, <laughs> Jim was a man of the land, of the people, and he connected with people of all types. And even though he was this great, incredible scientist that reached all over the world and one of the most, the most, the most brilliant and the most knowledgeable scientists at the United States Department of Agriculture and the whole United States government in the 1970s, etc. He was still a man of the earth who walked humbly, most of the time barefoot. And so thank you, New Hope, for acknowledging Jim as an incredible human being, an incredible part of our life.
co-founder of the American Botanical Council, and in that way, through Herbal Graham and a lot of his work, he's given something to everybody in this whole community. Thank you.